yeah, when we talk about calories, and, and it's not just as simple as calories in versus calories out, even though calories are king, because when we talk about a certain set calorie amount, we can talk about, you know, the, the different elements within calories. And I'm going to go a bit here, okay? But Let's bear, do it. bear with me. Let's fucking do bear it. Bear with me. <laughs> but like, for example, say if they're eating stuff that's really high in thermic effect, so they're eating huge amounts of protein, you know, low GI carbohydrates. We know what thermic effect means, mate. Yeah. I don't think everybody else will. You yeah, so, to explain so, that. so how much your body's actually going to burn? How many calories your body's actually going to burn processing those foods? Mm -hmm. Okay, so say if you're eating, you know, high in protein, high in low GI fiber carbohydrates, for example, brown rice, brown pasta, can be normal rice as well, but the more fiber in it's going to increase thermic effect. Then your calorie net... Yeah, say if the same person eats 2,000 calories here and 2,000 calories on meal deals, the net calories are actually less on the person that's eating the real strict calories because of the thermic effect of those, of, of those foods. Yeah. However, it's not going to be a huge, huge difference. It's a huge difference. So if you go, this person's eating turkey, mince, and rice, and this person's eating just chocolate, 2,000 calories and 2,000 calories, like you're probably looking at around a 30%, or not 30%, maybe 20% swing there. In, in terms of calories. So this person actually net calorie might be actually only taking on board 16, 1700, whereas this person's actually processing all the calories. Yeah, so that so that's much? where the quality can be, yeah. Wow, well, okay. Um, and that's where the quality of of calories does matter. And obviously, as we know, that the energy levels that you're going to get from eating better quality foods. However, it's also about making that factor th th this in. So if you can implement these foods, but then also make it a family-friendly meal. So yes, I'm using turkey mints. Yes, I'm using rice. But I'll also use some... <laughs> some um you know chopped tomatoes some spice some this some of that some green veg then everyone's happy because it's just a spag bowl mm. or a chili or whatever yeah. yeah i'm just giving you examples here yeah. rather than just going super super clean like like well last it's, time it's, I checked, it's still clean isn't yeah, it last, last time i checked some chopped some. tomatoes are clean mm. last time i checked spices are, uh, are fine they're actually full of i think the issue you have though is when people say about a spag bowl or something like that they have a dom meal <laughs> which is like full of sugar and shit, you know? And and I think that's bridging that gap is saying like, yeah. you know, you can have a spag bowl, but you've got to kind of put the fucking effort in to make it. Do you know what I mean? You've got to... But then again, again, we've got different levels again, haven't we? So if you've got a client that's coming in that's 10 stone overweight, like if he's cooking a, a spag bowl in, he's making effort just by using the Dolmio because he was usually fucking eating Dol, you know, um, Domino's pizzas before. So that's progression. Mm -hmm. So he's going to lose weight if he's doing that. It's the levels again. And as a coach, you've got to go through these levels with clients. Right, okay, this is what you've been doing. You've done really well. You've lost 10 pounds in the last five weeks doing this. Now we're going to implement this. We're going to change. And you're going to go, you're going to give me a bit more effort in. And because they've had the result, they're more likely to buy into the next level. So you don't need to go balls deep. Yeah with the process and the protocol straight away. If someone's eating fucking Domino's pizzas, KFCs every night and drinking all weekend, it's like, hang on a minute, let's put in these sort of things that he's gonna, he's probably going to stick to, probably going to enjoy, and he's going to get results. Yeah. Might not be as quick as the last time he did the cabbage diet, and that's why we're in this position of 10 stone overweight because he's gone through a massive metabolic shift, which we can chat about as well, you know, but mm. you know what I'm saying?